that balance has always been really important from Monica. You know, she walks two worlds in a way, and and, um, and especially in terms of raising her son. So I think it it means a lot that Casey embraces it the way he does. Casey and Monica are faced with a devastating loss in the first episode of season five. So how do you kind of foresee this impacting their relationship that has already had so many ups and downs throughout the episodes? Yeah, I, I think, I mean, this changes who they are. And, um, but I think at least for Monica, it it really redefines her relationship to this family in, in a really big way moving forward. Yeah. And similarly, Luke, for you, you know, at times like this, family is so important. You have Monica, you have your son, Tate, but uh, his relationship with the Dutton family as a whole is complicated. So will this bring them together in a way we haven't seen before? Or how will they kind of respond to this situation? Yeah, that was one of my favorite things about their relationship this season is normally when they would go through something difficult, it would sort of push them apart. And, um, you know, as always, they go through something very difficult. And this time it really seems to like pull them together closer than ever before, um, which is a way a way more fun thing to play than being at odds, you know. So that it was it was really nice. I mean, they're they're truly uh uh in love and together this season. It was nice. Well, I love to hear that because I'm always rooting for Casey and Monica. Um, but, uh, you know, Casey's visions at the end of the last season, you know, he saw the end of you two, you know. And so um, obviously that could be up to interpretation. But Monica, is that the beginning of this end? Will we see what that means this season? We do see what that means. Um, yeah. <laughs> And I'll leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, Casey has been put through the ringer over and over again, Luke. So how do you feel like, how does he find the strength to go on, especially continually facing these losses? His children are constantly impacted. What does he kind of look to on the inside to find out how to move forward? Yeah, Casey, I just feel like he's, the thing that I love about him and I think people kind of connect to is he's really resilient. You know, there's always something overpowering him and he's always able to just keep moving. And um, I just I love that quality, you know, um, and you get to play a, a big vulnerability with that, that I think um, not many characters in Yellowstone have, you know, they're they're heroic and, and they say what they want and they get what they want and they do what they want, which Casey has a bit of that, too. But he's also a raw nerve and he's vulnerable and he feels things. And it's, um, it's really fun to play all that stuff. I'm really interested because I think, you know, we get to see some of them on the reservation. Well, we get to see more of that as uh, the season goes on with Casey kind of embracing Monica's heritage and kind of looking to explore that more with Tate. Yeah, we do. I mean, I, I think that balance has always been really important from Monica. You know, she walks two worlds in a way and and, um, and especially in terms of raising her son. So I think it it means a lot that Casey embraces it the way he does. Thank you so much for your time today. It was such a pleasure speaking with you. I can't wait to see the rest of the season. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Thank you.